Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be a little bit of a dressing room diary. So earlier today I went into the city and I went to four high street shops to check out their workwear and look for affordable basics which are under 150 Australian dollars. So that's around, I want to say 120 US dollars and probably about 75 to 80 pounds for those of you who are in the northern hemisphere. I filmed some try on clips in each of these shops just so I could show you guys how everything fits but really I was on the hunt for things that are really classic, timeless, some things that are a little bit more interesting and items that you could really just slot into your wardrobe and help to mix things up that aren't going to break the bank. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk through everything, tell you how much it cost, what the quality was like, what size I tried on and I'm also going to pick my favourite piece from each store so things that I think are really worth picking up because the high street does do tailoring really well and it's definitely a place that I tend to look particularly if I'm on a budget. I would absolutely love your feedback on this video format if you enjoy it I will look at doing something like this again in the future maybe let me know what you would like me to try next but as you guys know this year I'm really trying to be quite mindful about what I'm buying so I don't want to buy anything just for the sole purpose of including it in a video I really just want to be adding more value to my wardrobe. So let's start with the first shop which was H&M. H&M is a store that I don't shop at very frequently just because they've got so much stock and I do find it a little bit overwhelming however every single time I go in there I always find something that I like and I find if you do kind of search through the racks you can get some real gems oh also I wanted to mention that I do think that they've got a really good layout for the workwear in H&M as well if you go to the Pitt Street store it is basically straight on your right as you walk in but they've also got some other sort of more tailoring type pieces on the left too so I think it's very easy to find what you need so the first thing that I tried on was this really gorgeous eggplant pleated skirt and honestly I really had to stop myself from taking this one to the cash register because I thought it was gorgeous. It looked so much more expensive than it actually was. The retail price was $55 on this one and I'm wearing it in the size European 36 which is an Australian 8. I do think I probably could have worn the 34 just as I had quite a bit of give around the elastic waist but I loved how this fit I thought it was very very elegant and again like I said it just looked expensive the fabric was really sturdy very high quality the plates were really crisp which I think made it stand out and again I think it just added more to that high-end sort of factor and I just thought that this was a really lovely item to have particularly for the cooler months I find that those really rich dual tone colors are perfect in the autumn winter season so definitely one worth looking at especially if you're in Sydney they had quite a few of them so I would go stamp one up if it's something that you like I just thought it was stunning the second thing that I tried on was a white v-neck top now this one cost $28 and I tried it on in a medium because they didn't have a small and I figured I'd rather go up a size rather than going down a size and I thought this had a really nice fit and I loved the sort of pleated detail that was on the shoulders I thought that this was really subtle it's quite loose on me because it is a uh, medium but this felt quite high quality I think it was an elastane and polyester mix I forgot to check the fabric content on this one however I really like the way that it looked tucked in it had a nice amount of volume around the waist which I kind of like especially if you've got something more fitted at the waist I like to have that balance of proportions I just thought that this was a really classic staple item that is worth having in your wardrobe now the next piece is a camel trench coat now this cost $80 and I tried it on in a 36 or an AU8. Now this had a bit of a loose fit so it was very relaxed and if you saw my how to look taller video this is the kind of jacket that I was saying is really great if you are on the petite end of the spectrum because it's got a lot of fluidity to it and that was what I really liked about this. The fabric was a nice heavy weight it had a very nice feel to it it's a polyester viscose mix I actually thought it looked a lot more expensive than its $80 price tag. So that was another one that I really liked and again a trench is a classic item you really cannot go wrong with having something like that in your wardrobe and you can find one under $100 I think that that is spot on. Now the other thing I tried on with this outfit was a pair of check trousers and I really love check prints. I think that they are so timeless, really classic and very chic and something that I know was super popular last year but I do think it's going to be something that sticks around. I think it's going to have a lot of longevity to it and again like I said it's classic so you're going to be able to hang on to something like that for years. Now these were made of polyester but I thought that they had a lot of structure to the fabric and they felt a lot more expensive than they were. The fabric felt very very nice for what it was. The cost of these was $45 and 
and I'm wearing the size European 36 or size 8. And these were a culotte style trouser, which I actually really like for the office. I think it's a little bit more unexpected, a little bit different to your classic tailored or peg leg style trouser, which is definitely something I tend to gravitate towards a lot. But yeah, very, very impressed with the quality of these ones, and I just thought they fit very nicely too. One thing I think H&M do really well is printed dresses, and when I spotted this one, I really wanted to try it on. I just thought it was very neat, and it looked like the type of thing that you could take from work to weekend. And I love that versatility. I love being able to find pieces that do double duty. It's definitely something I looked a lot for when I was working in corporate offices. Now, this one cost $40. It's an absolute steal, and I'm wearing the size 36 on size US 4, Australian 8. I really like the fit of this. It was kind of a relaxed fit. It was loose all through the body, but then it cinched in at the waist. It had an elasticated panel around the waist, and then it had a tie as well. So you belted it, which I think made it look a lot nicer than it just had, if it just had that elasticated panel. Now, it was elasticated around the neckline too, and I think, and you will see, I will show you, you can pull this off the shoulder. So I think you can wear it off the shoulder for the weekend, which I think is very cool. Or if you're going for a date after work, you can wear the same dress and just pull it off off your shoulders and then just make it look a little bit sexier by showing your clavicles. I loved the sleeves on these. Now these were a bit different and I think maybe this piece might be a bit more suited to a less formal workplace but they were a bell sleeve with a ruffle edge detail on the uh, edges of the sleeves which I thought was very very pretty and then it had that same flutter ruffle detail along the hemline of the skirt too. So that was a really nice one. This one was 100% polyester so you do get what you pay for but I did think it was a really nice style and definitely something that you could wear over and over again. Now what I threw over the top of this was a really beautiful houndstooth coat. Now I love houndstooth. I remember my mum had this gorgeous houndstooth coat. It was too big for me so I had to part with it but it was just stunning. Again timeless staple. I think it is the type of print that will not go out of fashion and I love the very 60s style feel of this coat. It had the Peter Pan collar and then it also had this really gorgeous detail around the cuffs of the sleeves so you could actually snap those bands of fabric and make it a little bit tighter if you wanted and then it had some poppers down the front. Now I know poppers aren't necessarily the thing to go for if you want to look more expensive. However, I did think that this coat looked very good value for money. It was very, very weighty. It was the heaviest item that I tried on. It was online, but it did have a very thick, sturdy weight to the material, which I liked. Now it was $90. So this was the most expensive piece that I tried on. And again, I tried it on in the size 36 or size 8. And I did think it fit me really well. So I had a lot of room underneath the arms, which is great because if it's cooler, you want to be able to put a really nice big sweater. And again, one of those items that I think that you could wear for the office, but you could also wear it on the weekend to start up maybe with some jeans. If I had to pick a favorite from H&M, it was hands down that eggplant pleated skirt. I just thought this was absolutely stunning. The second place that I went to was Cos, and I absolutely adore cos again it's part of the H&M family and I feel like they do really minimal clean staple designs very well it's very Scandinavian uh, inspired which I personally love some of the silhouettes that they do can be quite boxy and I guess unflattering but I do think you find some real gems there now the first thing that I tried on was a white collarless shirt now I actually have something similar from Everlane but I want to try on something that was in a bit of a crisper poplin cotton and I thought that this one was a really good example of this type of shirt it's it's quite long so I will show you how it looks untucked and also tucked in but I just thought that this was an absolute classic. Now this was $115 and it's 100% cotton and it has a really nice loose fit through the body. I'm wearing it in the size 36 or Australian 8 and I thought it was a pretty good fit, very true to size in terms of looking for something that is relaxed and isn't super fitted. This is the kind of thing that I would just wear with all of my pencil skirts for the office, even you know all of my trousers. I think that this would look great with those cool art style trousers from H&M that I featured earlier. I just think this is a classic staple piece. Obviously you can find more uh, affordable options as well and I will link some other cheaper alternatives in the description box below. I tried this on with a pair of navy trousers. I really love black trousers but I think that navy is a great alternative especially if you are on the fair end of the spectrum because I know that if you are very fair black can look very jarring against your skin tone so I think navy is quite a nice happy medium. It gives you that kind of dark color palette however it isn't quite as harsh against um, lighter colors. So tried these on. Now these were 100% polyester and I have to say I didn't quite love the feel of 
of them. They had sort of a rough texture to the material. They were $115, so same price as the shirt. And I tried these on in the size 34 or the size Australian 6. And I thought these fit me very, very well. I liked the length of the trousers as well. They came up to my ankles. If I was to purchase a pair of trousers like these, I would probably get them taken up just a smidge so that they look like they're a little bit too short for me, just so that I can lengthen my legs visually. But I thought in terms of the style, they were very nice. They do have some really good, just classic, very fitted trousers, which are quite similar to the Evelyn work pants. I'm gonna link those down below because they are a very thick, sturdy material, nice and stretchy, and they will kind of move with your body, which I think are a really good sort of thing that you wanna be able to wear, especially when you're sitting at your desk all day, you wanna be comfortable as possible. All right, so the next thing that I tried on at Coz was this really lovely, slightly sheer, dark gray skivvy. This is the kind of thing that is a major staple in my autumn winter wardrobe. I really love these sorts of tops as layering pieces, and this to me was a really good example of this type of thing. This is probably more one that I would actually wear laid under something rather than on its own just because it is semi sheer however I do think that you could wear a nude bra underneath it and it would be fine now the fit of this was really skinny slim fitting through the arms this was 100% wool and it was the most affordable thing I tried on at COS coming in at $79 and I tried on the extra small so I loved how this fit against my body because it was ultra tight and I think when you're looking for layering pieces you want things that are going to fit really close to your body especially if you live in a colder climate because those thin layers when you combine them all and you layer them up one after the other it actually really locks in the heat and keeps you toasty and warm and you don't need a lot of bulk now the detail I really loved on the skivvy was actually that it had a raw edged hem both at the edges of the sleeves and at the bottom of the uh, at the hemline of the jumper as well I just thought that that was really nice it's a very basic piece I definitely think it's worth the money as well being 100% wool then I tried this on with a gorgeous green skirt and it actually is not coming up accurate to color uh, in the clip and I will insert a little photo of what it looks like. This was really interesting and very unique and this is something I think Cos does really well. They always have very unusual silhouettes, things you are not going to find anywhere else. So this had a button detail on the side and then it tied in the center and then it always had this draped detail and this was a midi length. It was 100% cotton poplin and it had a lot of movement to it, really fluid kind of a style skirt which I liked. I love the fact that the skirt was asymmetrical as well. It just felt very very comfortable. Now I was wearing this in the size 34 or Australian 6 and this retails for $135. Now I do actually think that this was slightly too big for me. My waist is probably about 24.5 inches so I'm not quite a size 6. I'm between a 6 and an 8 um, Australian and yeah I, I did think that this is a little bit too big for me. I probably need the 32 if they even did one but I thought that this was absolutely gorgeous. Probably a bit unexpected for someone like me to be trying on such a vibrant green skirt but it was just too gorgeous to resist. Now, if I had to pick one item from Cos to purchase, it would be that wool skivvy. I just thought that this was such a classic item and it's definitely something you're going to wear over and over again and it was hands down my favourite. I could see myself wearing it with so many things. Again, I just stopped myself from taking it to the cash register to buy it. It is something I am thinking about. I would love something that's slightly more sheer to add into my autumn winter wardrobe, but we're still a couple months off, so I'm hanging out for the moment. Next, I went to Uniqlo and I think that they do such affordable workwear items and a lot of them, again, and natural fibers which I think is really great if that is what you're looking for so I kind of went more for workwear shirts and then a skirt and trouser option so the first sort of look I went for this collarless blouse and you guys know I tend to favor collarless blouses of ones where the collar just I think it's a little bit more flattering on my body shape I'm quite narrow across the shoulders so I think that it just helps to really accentuate and flatter my features as opposed to go against them. So this top is made out of rayon and it's a really nice grey colour. I thought it was really beautiful, it felt very comfortable on, it was very soft, the fabric just, it was really lovely, it had a very nice drape to it. I did try this on in the size small, this cost only $40 so I think it's an absolute steal for a workwear blouse, something that you're going to be able to reach for over and over and that you can remix into so many different outfits. However, I do think it fits small. Now, while it is a loose fit, I found that it did gape at the buttons just a little bit, and I am not very uh, large chested, so to me, that means size up if that is something you are looking at. I tried that blouse on with a heavy cotton drill skirt in a beautiful beige color. Again, the color's not coming off perfectly. I'm gonna try and edit it in post. Hopefully, I can get it accurate, but I will insert a photo. Now, this fabric, it was so weighty. It was ridiculous. This skirt retails for $50, and I'm wearing it in 
the size small and actually I think I needed an extra small in this one it did fit me a little bit big and this was a flat front across the across the waist and the back it was elasticated so you've got a bit of movement there which is great especially if you want to tuck things in that are a bit bulky or if you were going out for a buffet meal again I thought this is a really good one to take from work to weekend now probably not perfect skirt for a formal office however I do think that this is a really great one for a more relaxed office environment or a formal environment that doesn't require a very strict dress code. I thought that the length is really demure. It's really nice. It comes down to probably about mid calf on me, and I'm five foot eight, and I just really love the weight of the fabric. It just felt very, very expensive. The second kind of outfit that I tried on, I started with a striped cotton shirt, and I just think that this is a really nice way to inject a little bit of pizzazz into your look, maybe make it seem a little bit more interesting. And a vertical striped top is going to make you look. Look taller as well because those lines going up are going to elongate visually how your body looks which is perfect if you're on the petite end of the spectrum now I really love this shirt it was 100% cotton and I am wearing it in a size small and this one again retails for $40 which I think is just a bargain it's very very oversized very loose throughout the body it has a pocket on the bust which I really like that little detail I think it just makes it a little bit more special and then it has these slits at the side so I actually think that this looks very cool untucked and will be great worn on the weekend maybe with some white jeans and a cute pair of flats worn loose and then for work tucked in with some trousers heels you're good to go maybe throw a blazer over the top now I did pair the shirt with the easy ankle pants in a dark gray and you guys know how much I love these I've got them in the black I have been meaning to pick them up in a couple of other colors as well these are polyester however they have a really nice wool feel to them and they wash really well you just got to put them in the washing machine on a cold setting and they are perfect they don't really require too much ironing or anything either you could just steam them lightly and they are perfect so I 100% recommend those I'm wearing them in the clip in the size extra small which is the size I've got my black ones in and these retail for $50 so again a very good bargain and I think a really good way to start building up your workwear wardrobe if you do buy them in store as well this is a little tip for you guys uh, then they do have an in-house tailoring service at Uniqlo which is amazing it's what I use when I bought my black ones and they do it free of charge I believe so definitely worth taking them up on that if you need to get them shortened because it is so worth it and like I said if you can find a good tailor I mean then your clothes will look like they were made for you. I finished this little combo off with a wool rib knitted coat which I thought was really cool. Now, I'm wearing it in a very sort of dark charcoal grey. I'm wearing the extra small and this one was only $60. It's 100% wool though which I thought was mad for just $60. Uh, I will say that the material is not super soft. It does not feel like my Joseph sweater at all. It does have texture to it. However, as someone who's got really sensitive skin, I personally didn't find it very itchy. However, if you are very, very sensitive, you might find this itchy against your skin. If you're wearing it over the top of a shirt or something like that where it's not going to be touching your skin at all then you'll be absolutely fine. I think it's a really good little throw over piece. You wear that with your trousers and your shirt and maybe have some heels. I just think that's a very nice way to keep yourself warm while you're in the office and I love this sort of nice little ribbed detail which I'm going to show you guys close up of what it looked like. I thought that that was a very it made it look a little bit more expensive than it was because it had that nice weave to the knit and it also had pockets too so you can just throw your pockets in there which I always find very comforting. Now if I had to pick one piece from Uniqlo it would be the striped shirt again. I wanted to buy this. <laughs> I was this close to buying this. Very, very close. I so saw it was such a classic item, something that I know you would just get a lot of wear out of. So that is my pick from Uniqlo. Now the final place that I went to was Topshop and I We'll say that this outfit is probably the quirkiest out of all of them, but uh, I figure it was fun to actually try out a few different styles. So I started with a white shirt, which actually I will say it leans a lot more casual than everything else that I've tried on and featured in this video. It's a semi sheer white striped blouse and the thing I loved the most about this was the tortoiseshell button detail. I just thought that made it very very special and that's probably what would make it a little bit more casual. However I do think with the right items you could really dress this up, make it work very well for a corporate office. However as it is slightly sheer you would probably want to pair it with a little camisole or a new bra underneath just to maintain your modesty. Uh, so it was very very loose fitting but I just thought that this was very cool and uh, it retailed for 
$74 and I'm wearing the size small and yeah like I said I love items that can do double duty it's really something that I look for a lot whenever I'm shopping for my wardrobe. I tried these on with a pair of peachy trousers and these had a grid print to them and these were these were the quirky item so I'm wearing the size 6 in these and these were $80 if you are in between sizes go with the smaller size with these. Now these had a cuffed hem which was that kind of quirky detail I really love the sort of belted button detail at the waist which I thought was a very cool the little light tortoiseshell buttons I think made it a little bit more special and really elevated these trousers these would be perfect for more of a casual working environment I think and again something I could definitely see uh, myself or you know you're wearing on the weekend maybe styled down a little bit more casually with a t-shirt maybe wear a denim jacket or um, a trench coat or something like that and some sneakers I think that would look awesome and then the final piece that I tried on was a beige linen blazer now I have got a linen blazer from Yuli and Otis which I absolutely love however it is quite expensive I think it was around the $300 mark this I thought was a really nice affordable or slightly more affordable alternative so this and actually I think it might be one of the most expensive pieces that I tried so I'm wearing it in a size 8 and it retailed for $120 and it's just a really nice Sudone beige colored linen blazer it's actually a uh, linen viscose mix but it's got a very lovely hand feel to it. The lining is polka dotted, which I think is really sweet. I always love those little details like that. And, and Topshop always has really cool lining on their blazers. It's always something that I look out for. And I like the fit. I wouldn't say it's a classically tailored fit, but it's not quite a boyfriend fit either. So it's just relaxed, but it's the sort of thing that you could easily wear to work. And I think the thing I always look for in Topshop is sort of those mismatched suiting pieces because I do find that they do trousers really well. And they also do blazers really well, but uh, while I know they do suits, I never love the pairing as much. So that's a tip. If you like that mismatched look, then definitely keep an eye on Topshop because you can find something that is really affordable and that you might be able to have in your wardrobe for a really, really long time. Uh, and if I had to pick one item from Topshop, it would definitely be that blazer. Clearly, I do not need a second beige linen blazer because I've already got one. But I thought that, that was a really beautiful piece. The tortoiseshell buttons on it were gorgeous too. So that is my shopping diary for affordable work by under $150. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Let me know if you had a favorite piece. If you own any of these items and you've got your own feedback that you want to share, I would love that too. And yeah, if you've got any questions or any other comments, I would love to hear it. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new here and you'd like to see more from me and like it if you did enjoy it. I'll see you guys next time with a brand new video. See you soon. Bye. You got some vacation time. Yeah. You and your girlfriend too bad mind. Bad, bad, bad when you both combined.